morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Yes, it's me, April Love, here in Boston. Truly hoping you're having a blessed time wherever you are. Finding reasons to smile, to laugh, to enjoy life. Appreciate everything and everyone around you. So I wanted to show you something since I'm only able to eat at night. And after watching Alex Wasabi and watching him with those protein bowls, I decided to try to make my own. It came out a little more soupy than it probably should have, but check this out. So here's my protein bowl. I used a side juice versus the puree, um, but I put some frozen strawberries and blueberries. I used one of my uh, proteins, the vanilla protein, and topped it off with bananas, pineapple, strawberry, some chia seeds, and coconut flakes. Um, I forgot to buy granola, but it's all good. There's still, It's still packed full of nutrients and protein and all that good stuff. So I'm about to dig in. Let's see how this tastes because it's the first time I've ever made this. All right, so I'm going to take a little bit of everything. I'm trying to get a strawberry. Banana and pineapple. There's my bite. It's really good, but I basically made soup. <laughs> but I'm going to eat this as much as I can because there's a lot. And I'll see you in a bit. I'm outside my door and my cat's crying inside. I don't know if you're going to be able to hear it, but let's see. <laughs> Gizmo! <laughs> Gizmo! <laughs> so he's going to yell at me. So ready? I'm going to open the door and he's going to start screaming at me. What's the matter? Hey! What happened? Hey, buddy. Really? I heard you. I heard you too. I was really? Out, Hello? What happened? Did you miss me? Yeah? Really? So this has become a three-day vlog. Um... The beginning with the acai bowl, which was really tasty. Uh, I made that Monday night. Oh, uh, Monday, yeah, Monday night. Uh, it's part of my food. And a little part with Gizmo it was yesterday. I didn't really record anything yesterday because I was a little frazzled about what, whether I was working or not working or um, exactly what I wanted to do. I wanted to make, do a, uh, a poetry vlog, but uh, I just kind of got um, you know distracted. And then last night, I worked the overnight um, and worked 45 minutes out from my house, drove my car uh, out on the highway, which I don't always trust to do. Um, and so far, I've only gotten about two hours sleep because I am just that tired. And please don't think I'm complaining. Or, you know, just keep showing my tiredness. <laughs> you know, I still be I believe good things are coming. I believe good, th you know, life is going to be better, you know, in the weeks and months and, and whatever to come. But at the moment, I feel like I can't keep a straight thought. Um... I'm not going to keep saying it's it's the fasting. It, it, it's a, a mixture of things. Uh, and as much as I'm trying to stay positive, 
if you all the good things coming into my life there's a part of me that's like you know I can't wait until I don't have to worry about exhausting myself to make just to make ends meet you know I'm not the only one who does this my cousin's doing it people that are retired that I know are doing it they work constantly just to put food on the table to pay bills you know and I have to put a prayer out there for everybody that I'm that I'm grateful that we all have roofs over our heads that we can put food on our table that we do get opportunities to have money come into our lives and our experience. And anyone that is experiencing stress, dep depression, lack of money, lack of acceptance and understanding, or anything that is overwhelming you in a negative way, I hope we find peace, I hope we find ease, um, God is great. I know, um, in the long run, things will be better. My wish for everyone is that, you know, we get to enjoy life more than we have to work to have a life. There needs to be more balance and more understanding not just between races and religion and all that, but when it comes to work, home, everything, there needs to be a, a balance with every, there's enough for everybody to, not just to survive, but to live comfortably. And we all have to get to a point where we can live comfortably, you know. I know I'm kind of rambling, but uh, it's what's on my mind. I'm so, my nerves are so sharp. You know, I'm a little shaky, overtired, fatigued. And it's not from the lack of nutrients. I know that much, because I ate well last night. <laughs> I'm not a stranger to hard work, but I hate the feeling of feeling drained and over, I'm not even overworked really. I just, I don't know which way I'm going. I don't know if I'm coming or going, but I'm gonna push forward. I'm gonna hold on to the, the feeling of the great things coming Everything is going to work out. Everything is working out. Um, anyway, I'm going to attempt to try to get a poetry vlog up in the next day or two. But for now, I'm just going to end this because I really have no energy. Um, and despite my lack of energy, I hope that you're having a blessed time enjoying your life and, and finding reasons to be happy. I have a lot to be happy for, so um, anyway, I'm going to end it. Till next time, like, love, share, and inspire. Much love. Peace.